Greetings, English language learners. My students and my friends have asked me, what's the difference between evidence and proof? And this can be difficult because people who should know better get it wrong. Evidence is a fact or an item, physical or non-physical, that can be used to support a statement that might or might not be true. In other words, a statement about which there is doubt. And when a body of evidence is large enough or strong enough to remove that doubt, then it constitutes proof. For example, the detective says Jane killed her husband. You and I weren't there. We don't know, so we have doubt. So the detective offers us three pieces of evidence. First, there's video showing Jane going in and out of the house at the time her husband was killed. That's evidence. It doesn't remove the doubt yet, though, does it? So it's not proof. So the detective gives the rest of his evidence. The neighbor heard Jane screaming at her husband just before there was a gunshot. And the gun was found in Jane's purse. Now let's note, there is an element of subjectivity to proof. In other words, it can be seen by different people in different ways. For instance, one person can say, I'm convinced this is proof. Jane killed her husband. Someone else, on the other hand, might say, the video could be photoshopped. The neighbor could be lying. The detective might have planted the gun. That's not Proof. So let's look at an example from real life, from the news. Did the American Vice President, Joe Biden, interfere with the government of Ukraine in order to help his son? Let's look at the evidence. I had gotten a commitment from Poroshenko. They would take action against a state prosecutor, and they didn't. I said, I'm telling you, you're not getting a billion dollars. I said, you're not getting the billion. I'm going to be leaving here. And I think it was, what, six hours? I looked, I said, I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Well, son of a bitch. <laughs> got fired. Okay, so did you get that? The American vice president ordered the government of Ukraine to fire a prosecutor. And this happened at the same time that the vice president's son was doing business with a Ukrainian company that might have been in legal trouble. It's subjective, but most people agree that's not proof. The evidence is inconclusive. Now, does Martha Raddatz know the difference between evidence and proof? She should. She's a famous American reporter with ABC News. I hope that if uh, Vice President Biden engaged in behavior that was inappropriate, I hope the American people will come to learn that. We've uh, seen America no evidence have, of that American yet, but cannot, I wanna, there, there's no evidence of that yet. No evidence? Is she right? You know the difference between evidence and proof now. She got it wrong. It's true that English vocabulary is difficult. There are a lot of words that are very close in meaning, and it's hard to know when to use one or the other. If you have questions about any of those kinds of words, put them down below in the comments, and we'll talk about them. And thanks for watching, and like and subscribe.